From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. Now this scripture verse paints an image of people who are so desperate to get something that they're willing to fight crowds, they're willing to brave the wetter, take risks and do whatever is necessary to reach their goal. And I remember back in 1975, images on television of the end of the Vietnam War. You might be old enough to remember that. The United States was involved in that war for almost 19 years. And it was all about stopping the spread of communism in Southeast Asia. And the reason for that war was that the country of Vietnam was split up into two factions, Communist North Vietnam and Democratic South Vietnam. And the North sought to unite the country under communism. So the USA got involved in that because they were convinced that if they didn't, that communism would spread in Southeast Asia and then eventually all over the world and freedom would be threatened. Now they didn't win that war and on the last day they evacuated South Vietnam by sending in helicopters to lift their key people out of the country. And as they did, and I'll never forget it as long as I lived because it was on TV, as the helicopters came down and as American dignitaries and people who worked in the embassy and other officials jumped into the helicopter, the locals also crowded the helicopter and many tried to jump in with the Americans. It was incredible because they wanted to es escape the oppression that they knew was coming under the communist regime. And so here was this image of massive helicopters coming into Saigon and crowds and crowds of people trying to push their way onto the helicopters to escape the darkness that was now about to suffocate their country. These people wanted out of South Vietnam and they were willing to pay any price to do it. They longed for freedom. And you know, the helicopters barely made it out. Some of them were literally pulled to the ground because the crowd was so great and the force of the pushing of the crowd and the pulling down on the helicopters grounded the helicopters. It was absolutely amazing. Because they wished to escape, because they wanted something better. Because these people craved freedom and liberty. And it was one of the most incredible scenes I've ever seen in my entire life. Desperate people pushing their way into freedom. Well, the Americans got out and of course many thousands of people were left behind to face the darkness, but it didn't stop them. Because soon after that, they were so determined to get out of communist Vietnam that they decided to get into small boats, small regular boats, and they crowded as many people as they could into these boats, and then they did the unbelievable. They launched these boats into the Pacific Ocean, hoping to go to the free countries that were around them, such as Mal Malaysia and the Philippines and even as far as British Hong Kong. And they were given the name, the Boat People. They had to battle storms, some drowned, some got sick, many never made it. But many did. In fact, so many of them made it, not just by boat, but even by land that eventually the free countries that were receiving them wouldn't receive them anymore until the United States, Canada and parts of Europe decided to support them financially and only then would they leave them to enter into the country. But they were so persistent that they forced these free countries to let them in. They pressed in so hard that the world had no choice but to accommodate them. They pushed against the gates of freedom so hard and for so long that the gates finally succumbed to them. And now many of these Vietnamese are living here and in other parts of the world in total freedom because of their undeniable perseverance. The boat people. An example of shoving your way into what you know is good. Now I told you all about